Ojas was very happy. It was his birthday, and he loves birthdays. Ojas hoped that he would have another grand adventure, just like the ones he always had. He woke up bright and early and jumped out of bed. Good morning, sun, he said to the dancing yellow sun. Good morning, Ojas, the sun said back to him. Ojas greeted the lovely blue sky and fluffy white clouds. Guess what? It's my birthday, Ojas said happily. Hey, happy birthday! Said the dancing yellow sun, and the lovely blue sky, and the fluffy white clouds. He looked at the clouds and wondered what it would feel like to go up there and touch it. Just then, a magical fairy came into his room. It's your birthday, so would you like to make a wish? Ojas looked at the fairy and then at the clouds. It sure would be nice to go up there and have an adventure in the clouds. Well then, wish granted. Said the fairy, and she granted Ojas magical wings, which popped up at his back. Now you can go high into the clouds and have the greatest adventure you can think of. Ojas was very pleased with his new wings. He flapped it and giggled. Then he began to fly around the room. It was really fun. Jumping out of the window, Ojas flew high into the clouds. The fairy also had given him special goggles for his eyes, so he could fly past the sun easily. He soon got high enough to touch the clouds. He reached out his hands and touched them. It's fluffy and soft, just like cotton candy. Ojas played around in the clouds, having fun and laughing aloud. Then he saw someone hiding behind a cloud. Hello, he said. The person came out of hiding, and Ojas was surprised when he saw that she was made out of cloud. My name is Ojas, he said, and moved closer to the cloud person. And I am Eli, the cloud princess. Ojas thought this was so cool. He didn't know that there were cloud people high up in the clouds. The cloud princess was shy at first, hiding as she spoke. But she soon got to like Ojas, and she took him to the Cloud Kingdom. It's really big, Ojas said when he saw the houses made of soft, fluffy clouds. Even the roads and the cars were made of clouds, and a larger waterfall also had clouds in it. We are the Cloud People, and we have fun every day. We work and play together. The Cloud Princess showed Ojas how to make clouds using bubbles. Clouds are made of water," said the Cloud Princess to Ojas. The clouds were like fluffy sponges; they had water inside of them, and when it became too much, they burst. So that's why it rains?" asked Ojas. "Yes," said the Cloud Princess. "I have a question," Ojas said, as he flew around with the Cloud Princess. "Go ahead and ask," she said to him. "How do you make the clouds to have different colors?" Ojas asked. "That's simple. I'll show you," said the Cloud Princess. She took Ojas higher up to a cloud factory. Inside the factory, Ojas saw lots and lots of clouds. The Cloud Princess took him to a place where sunset clouds were made. These clouds are orange, and that is why when the sun sets, you always see the orange clouds in the sky. The clouds were sprayed with different colors of paint, like orange, for the sunset clouds. And white for the sunny day clouds. There were also blue clouds and purple clouds, and even the really dark ones for when it rained. How are rainbows made? Ojas asked. Oh, that's simple, the Cloud Princess. Rainbows are formed by pouring colorful glitter over the sky when it rains. It's really fun. The Cloud People did one last thing for Ojas before he left for home. They wrote the letters "Happy Birthday" for him on the clouds. Ojas had so much fun in the Cloud Kingdom, but it was now time to go back home. He waved them goodbye and promised to be back some day. Each time he looked at the different colors in the sky, he would always remember the Cloud Princess and the Kingdom of Cloud People working hard to make the sky beautiful. It really turned out to be a happy birthday adventure for Ojas. And it showed that having a powerful imagination is really fun and exciting.